In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just the negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, some resolution to this whole daddy of five situation. If you haven't been following the YouTube news or YouTube drama lately, basically there's a YouTube channel called Daddy of Five, and they make their living basically pranking their kids. And these aren't like pranks where it's like, hey, I put saran wrap on the toilet. It's like pranks that are emotionally traumatizing. Recently, they've come under a lot of fire about their pranks and people have put together video clips of some of their worst pranks and some of their kids going through a really tough time with the pranks and then forcing them to plug their channel right after getting pranked while they're still clearly emotionally distraught. And because of this internet backlash, an investigation was started and it was determined that because of their actions, because of the video proof that was out there, they were to lose custody of their children. This just happened this morning and I don't want to say it's a good thing for any parents to lose custody of their children, but it's a good thing if there's potential child abuse going on that it's being addressed. I'm not going to claim to be an expert on what child abuse is and what isn't, but the correct people that are experts in it are now handling the situation. And that's a good thing. The bottom line is that these kids are now getting help and they're in an environment where they can thrive and not worried about being mocked pranked, I'm not even going to call it pranked because it was beyond pranked, um, manipulated and made to feel ashamed in front of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people on the internet. As YouTube has grown, people are always trying to push the boundaries, test the limits, and sometimes the most successful channels, oftentimes the most successful channels, are the channels that are able to push the boundary and take it to the next level. And it was only a matter of time before a channel found that boundary and crossed it. And I think it's good and I think it's important right now that a line has been drawn where you can't do certain things and get away with it. There's vlogging your daily life and then there's exploiting your children and loved ones. And that's an important thing with this case. I hope nothing but the best for this family and I hope they're able to reconcile and somehow make this a good situation. Obviously it's going to be very tough for the kids right now and probably very tough for the parents, but it's a necessary thing that needs to happen at this point. Hopefully this also teaches other YouTubers making videos about what's okay and what's not okay. Just because you say it's just a prank bro after your action does not make your actions okay. With hundreds of thousands of fans, sometimes internet creators feel as though they can do no wrong and they're above the law. But this is a good reminder to everyone that they're still human too. So that stays one good thing. It's, it's tough to call it a good thing when it's just a terrible situation all around, but at least progress is being made and the kids are hopefully going to be okay. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke and I'll see you tomorrow.